good. I like him to bring him back like that. It's a safe, a safe way to protect because he's trying to throw it right over, over your left. Yeah. But in the beginning of, of the race, you know, we're not really feeling it. Yeah. In the beginning of the rounds, um, I was getting tired because in the hypoxic, I did, I did the hypoxic, which is the high altitude simulation. So my lungs were already tired in the beginning. Um, in the middle rounds, that's when I started to pick up. Uh, my body started to synchronize with my lungs and my heart rate. And I started to feel, get, to get my uh, second win. And uh, I felt good. You know, my mind was, 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 uh, was focused. I was, I was using good jab, good movements. You know, I was seeing everything. I started feeling really good and feeling um, up to par with, with, with my game plan. Well, overall, um, we have five weeks of training. And I was, you know, going into training, I was um, trying to compensate with, with the lack of time. So, ended, ending up sparring eight rounds to first sparring. And, and uh, getting in shape, actually, three weeks before. I mean, in, in two weeks, I started, I started to get in shape. I started to feel great, and, and the last two weeks of sparring was just, or training was just kind of, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go, you know, I've been fighting this whole year, and you know, I've been training this whole year, so my mind and my body was just telling me, you know what, I just want to fight, so um, going forward, I'm excited, you know, I'm excited, not for the fight, but I'm excited for the, for the, uh, for the holidays. You know, I'm excited for my baby. I'm excited for, for everything that I can focus my mind into my baby, into my wife, and, and just the overall thing. I mean, this camp has been short, but explosive. But, you know, we're ready for the fight, and, and we're just excited to just set things and just keep rolling and, and, and get ready for 2013. The camp has been going really good. Um, this is our fourth fight this year, and uh, as in the past, when we're on a roll like this, it's a lot easier to transition. There's no getting out of shape. It's, he's, very, he's in pretty good shape to continue, almost like a continuous training throughout the whole year. So that's been a lot easy. I mean, very easy. What's that thing? Nice hook. Good, nice hook. Good, good counter. Trying to always make a miss, you know, just pick that hand up and, and you know, pick the punches off. Throughout the sparring, I was hitting with good body shots. Some of them would land in the elbow, and you know, being in the sparring uh, session, you're wearing big gloves. Um, you're you're wearing headgears, you know, so you're fully covered and, and the guy's a lot bigger than I am So he's pushing and pushing and I'm cracking him really hard and then that one punch uh, That I landed really 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 hard and You know that could that could have taken the guy out in a stretcher, you know It was it was that hard of a punch and I felt my hand and I, I started to freak out Good. Calm down, Baz. Calm down. If I'm high, calm down. Totally calm right now. You're hurting me. I'm totally calm. Yeah, good, I don't want to hurt you. Good. Don't want to hurt you. I started to freak out. I started to felt that my hand was was swelling, but I felt like my skin and my my uh, muscle tissue in my knuckles started to open up, and I felt that. So I started to freak out, and I stopped, and 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 uh, my body didn't want to stop. I wanted to. I wanted to. Um, to keep uh, sparring because I wanted to do 12 rounds, but you know, my mind was, was telling me what, what's going on. You know, am I hurting my hand? You know, I, please, please, this is the last day of sparring. You know, I, I don't want anything to happen with it. So my mind was just racing, 
uh, when I hit him with that big punch. Um, when I saw Nonito, it, it, it scared me. You know, I mean, we only have a week left of, of training and fights here. So, I mean, if, if anything happened to it, it it's, it's just, it's scary. You know, um, with how his hand's been going this year, we really want to get it healed. And him not saying anything and him praying and, and not saying what, what's going on, what's going through his head, like, God, it seems forever until he tells us what, what's, what's happening. Are we okay? Kind of freaking out, kind of walking around. You know, he uh, snapped at me. You know, I'm trying to help him as best I can, cut the wraps off. And I mean, that's just, I mean, that's just par for the course. I mean, he's freaking out. He's nervous. You know, he's, he doesn't know what's going to happen. And, you know, I'm trying to be just calm as I can be and just kind of follow where he's going to go. I know he's going to sit down on the stool and tell me to cut the wraps off and then get right back up and move around the ring. And he's nervous and I just got to follow him and, you know, whatever happens, um, you know, whatever he says, just kind of let it, let it go and, you know, and try to calm him down and, or just try to be there for him, basically, you know, he's got to run it through his own head. So I take off my wraps, you know, I was panicking, the blood was there. When I opened it up and, you know, Bass took it off slowly and I, I was just trying to, uh, to slowly take off my, my, uh, my cover, um, the, the sponges, and it was just a little cut, you know, it was just a little bleeding in there, it wasn't a lot and, and oh, <laughs> that's all I was, that's all I was. I thought I was almost in, in the verge of tears because I, I don't want to mess up. I mean, this is, we're so close to the fight. So when, the, when I took it out and there wasn't much, I mean, I was just so relieved. I mean, it was, you know, I felt great. I felt great that nothing happened and, and it was just a little cut and just a little bruise and then swelling and that I can take care of. So I felt great. Ever since uh, we found out we were pregnant, we've been making a lot of lifestyle changes. Um, but one thing that's for sure is Nonito's been super overprotective and he's become a food Nazi. Um, anything that I try to order, he Googles it if I can even eat it. Um, fish, he, he barely wants me to eat. Things that I eat medium rare, he's telling the waiter that I have to have it, you know, well done. So. Um, trying to you know change your life and and uh, and realize that whatever you're eating is not completely for you anymore it's for someone else so